uh, will really help the community lower its energy bills and make sure that there's more money in your checkbook. It, if anything's going to change in America, it's going to be from the people. It's going to be from people and from the younger crowd, from me getting more active in the community. And that's what we'd also like to have. I'm, I'm working with the community gardens. And um, the, the next step from that, though, after the energy conservation, is solar. We live in a sunshine state. Why are we getting our, all of our energy from the coal fire plant just down the street? Why can't we get it from the sun? We have the technology. We can put people to work. We can make sure that, I, I know, the money, the money is a big issue. But if you do it in a group, if you do it as a community, and you buy in bulk and use the same leveraging power, you can make it a lot more affordable. Uh, and you can finance it. Finance it, I know with the TARP fund, everyone's worried about it, but by having the TARP fund, you can allow it so that people can finance these here at Holly Lake West. And, and we, we really want to make this garden a, a, a central point for this community to get people involved. Go ahead. How do you keep the animals away? Well, right now we got a fence, <laughs> but um, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna contact fencing and see about getting a donation for fencing around the entire park. Chuck, yeah, how's it gonna work with the uh, water? You're gonna do something with the collection of water and the compost? The compost, we we're working with uh, University of Florida Extension, which is a partner with the government here in Pasco, and we have over 50 cubic yards of compost. But another thing we would like to do is install a rain barrel, which saves all the rain that collects on the, the roof of this. <laughs> yeah, do you have a rain barrel? <laughs> I do too, it's great. Well, why not? It's waste. It's waste when you throw it out, but when you reuse it, then it's not waste, it's valuable. It, and the rain that falls on this roof, if we collect it, it has value. We can put it on our garden and we can grow food. Is there any other questions? Go ahead. Okay. All right, what about the seed and who's doing the work and all that stuff? If you Sarah actually was wonderful and she collected a whole bunch of seeds for us. And that will help us start off. But we can also work with other nurseries around here to get more. If we show people that we're really strong about this, they'll help us. Donations, I mean, in desperate times, people come together. Okay. Right now, Vicki, um, that's just from one company that donated. That's, that will cover 10,000 square feet of gardening. We have another 100 packets from another place that will be coming in shortly as well. So you're getting donations. Oh, yeah. Okay. You'd be amazed. You'd be amazed. You'd be amazed. Yeah. You'd be now, amazed. that's the thing. If we do it right, what we have is what we thought. I should show you the video. I'm sorry. I gotta find it first. <laughs> well, we're hoping that each citizen does the weeding, that each person contacts and does the does the gardening themselves. We all eat. We all need to be responsible for what we put in our bodies. And therefore, we'll be healthier, we'll be happier, we'll be freer people. But, I mean, if you're looking for somebody else to do it, like your congressman, it's not going to happen. It just doesn't work from the top down. It never has. Who benefits out of all the bad needs being done? Community. Yes. Yeah. All right, so it would be a good issue to let them know is what they grow, they can eat. Yes. Well, now, the community here, now, we're, there's got to be young kids here. Full of energy. I'm sure if we can show them that, that, that by getting up, being a part of this and sh just volunteering a few hours out of their week, we can make a huge difference. If you do it right, if you put cardboard down and you put enough soil, you shouldn't have any, many problems with weeding. The big issue is harvesting and actually the, 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 the actual making of the gardens. That's the biggest issue. I'm going to work on my end with uh, getting kids from um, <coughs> the, the St. Petersburg College, which is down the road. Yeah. But I would also like to have uh, us uh, contact our, all of our neighbors and canvas this neighborhood as a community and talk to people about what we want to do and get more people involved that would be willing to volunteer their time. And I'm also going to commit to helping out. And Adam will commit a few hours to help out. And we, as a community, we can build this. How do you divvy out the food once it's, once it's ready to pick? Oh, yeah. What we, our idea was... Set the Z. 
think. <laughs> what our idea was to, was to make four foot by eight foot gardens, and we'll do we'll sell the plots for about twenty five dollars, and whoever buys that plot, that's their food. And as a community, we'll work together to make sure that that plot is always uh, producing something. But it's it's going to be that little bit. But here's the thing: if you have tomatoes and I have squash and I have a lot of squash and you have a lot of tomatoes, and why not? Why don't we share? Why why do we have to be paying for food? Why can't we just share food? Those of you who have the fruit trees and stuff can really appreciate the fact that. You don't have to pay 50 cents for an orange. You've got it in your backyard. I mean, the markup and everything in vegetables and fruits is That's so phenomenally high. You know, and we're, we're, we're blessed that these gentlemen, you know, Sarah contacted them, but they've got the knowledge and they've got the, the gumption to get it going. They just need this opportunity. And, and the thing is, is we all re get something from it, which is the good thing. You know, it's it's not like you're gonna work hard and not benefit from it. And if every one of us can use the little bit of help in the pocketbooks, I think nowadays. So why not? And the sense of security. I think one thing that having food and being responsible that as a younger generation I know we've gotten totally away from is having that sense of, oh, there's always food. Now we're kind of like always dependent on somebody, like rats scurrying around, trying to find somebody to help us. And I think that, you know, the Victory Gardens of the past and in other countries that have had, you know, loss of resources or whatever, we've totally lost touch with being self-sustaining at all. And you see a big, I think a lot of the older generation sees the younger generation as irresponsible. And it's because we've lost touch with how to sustain what sustains and how to do it with the, the base level. Gardening, you know, taking care of your own... Sharing. Sharing, taking care of your own needs, making community. We've lost it. But that doesn't mean it can't grow like a seed from the ground. You know, it's not gone just because it's not here now. Right. Just, well, I have a question for you now. How many of you know how to garden? <laughs> Look at all these gardeners. If we can collect you, all of you together, I'm sure there's nothing that we can do. I want to uh, say something. Where my grandfather goes to school in um, River Ridge, yeah. they had a positive thing. The children um, had their own gardens in their own homes. Nice. My granddaughter made a nice garden, and she had tomatoes and corn and peppers, and, oh, and she's 14. So, I mean, they really do it when they, so maybe even if someone would tell the school that as a part of the project that we're having it, we need yeah. You know, children to volunteer. Awesome. Yeah. They, they, they do that. Well, that school is right there. <laughs> 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 Always middle school, I think. Yeah, middle school. There's yeah. middle school, and there's going to be a high school built also. Oh, yeah. But the middle school is pretty big kids. I mean, the kids today, middle school look like. Yeah. Yeah.